Okay, February 2nd, uh, 2018. We're going to do a quick demonstration of water stratification. I've got a jug of very cold water, about 40 degrees, and I've got a pot that I think is sitting around 140, 150, 160, somewhere in there. Um, so I'm just going to show you that uh, warm water rises to the top, cold water settles to the bottom with a real simple experiment here. Let me just get, get the pan. Okay. So, you can see how the cold water settles to the bottom of the pot as I pour it in. This is called stratification, and it's the basis for uh, using thermal temperature differences to pump heat from one location to another. It's the same principle that the coils work on, on the thermal mass on tank one. And I'll point those out to you in a minute. Just want you to really get a good look. at the stratification process. So there you go. So that's cold water settling in a pot of very hot water. That same process, is, same process works over here on these coils. These coils are wrapped around the stove. They're copper and uh, they're set up in a way that as the water heats and expands it rises up the coil and it basically because it's heating it forces flow in the coil so that draws cold water in and warms it and it rises and gets pushed out. So that principle is what's used here in order to circulate um, the hot water and ultimately to pump heat from around the stove into the thermal mass. Um, that principle I plan to develop further in a future greenhouse or heating system, one of the two. Anyway, just wanted to help you understand uh, how that works and I guess I should explain real quick that uh, warm water is less dense than cold water. Uh, water is at its densest at about 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, below that it gets lighter again, or uh, less dense again until it becomes ice, in which point it floats on top of water. Uh, that's why ice floats, is because it's actually less dense when it's frozen. And same principle the other way, when the water gets warm, it becomes less dense and that's why it rises and the denser, colder water will settle to the bottom. So hope that helps you understand how um, how this thermal mass system works and how we circulate uh, hot water and heat using that principle. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.